What's going on YouTube? A Train bringing y'all another video. So I got my wife, my lovely wife, helping me out. This is the first time y'all are going to be seeing on the channel. But with this one, I actually wanted to show y'all. Um, instead of just putting pictures, I wanted to show y'all what I'm doing. But I'm going to be talking about the differences between using natural light and off-camera flash and why I prefer off-camera flash. We use off-camera flash about 90% of the time, right? It's my favorite thing to use. All right, so the first reason why I prefer using flash over natural light is because when you shoot natural light, a lot of the times you have to choose between, you know, exposing for the background, exposing for your subject. Kimbo can vouch for this. So this probably isn't the best um, scene to show this with. Now, if you're shooting in bright conditions, let's say if you expose for the background, then your subject's gonna be underexposed, right? And if you expose for your subject, then the background's gonna be blown out. So that's why, I like to use off-camera flash because I could pop on the flash and then I can control the ambient light better. So if the background is super bright, then I can dim that background and bring it down. By shooting high-speed sync, I can bring down that background light and I really like that. All right, and a second reason why I prefer off-camera flash over natural light is because it creates mood within the image. Right, Kimbo? So if I'm going for more of a moody vibe, I like to pop on a flash because I can get that look with using off-camera flash versus using natural light. I feel like, sorry if y'all can hear our neighbors, but I feel like with natural light, sometimes the images look kind of flat. And when you use a flash, you know, it adds some depth to that image. You can create some mood, you know, your photos look more dramatic. So those are just some of the reasons why I prefer using flash over natural light. But I'm gonna be showing y'all examples right now. I'm gonna be shooting my wife, doing natural light, and then I'm gonna use the flash. Watch out, Kimbo. As you can see in the back, I'm using the AD400 Pro in the 20, inch deep parabolic by glow it's the easy lock love that softbox right there so i'm going to show you all some natural light then i'm going to show you all some off-camera flash and you tell me which one you like better you ready yep introduce yourself excuse me my name is kimberly i'm his uh wonderful beautiful wife i had to tell him i look a little ratchet today excuse me but uh, i usually am cuter than this Okay. Yeah. All right, so right now we're just going to be doing some natural light shots. I got my wife right here. I got some nice foliage in the background with the plants and stuff. So we're just going to take some natural light shots. And if you're wondering, I'm using the Sony 85, my favorite lens, and I'm using the Sony a7 III and the X Pro S trigger. So let's get it. All right, so we did natural light. Now we're going to introduce the off-camera flash and see what kind of shots we get. Now with these, you're gonna see, I'm gonna be creating more drama, just more of a uh, moodier image with more depth to it by using the light, like I said earlier. So we're gonna see what we get with the off-camera flash. And keep in mind when you're using your flash, you wanna keep it as close as possible to your subject. I found that this creates, you know, a real soft light. And I just like the look when I have it close to my subject versus pulling it away. And if you pull the flash away, you're gonna lose power. So I try to keep it as close as I can, especially if I'm shooting portraits. Now, if I'm shooting a wide shot um, and I don't wanna edit it out in post, um, then I'm gonna have to move the flash far away. But most of the time I got it as close as possible to my subject to get some nice soft light. I'm gonna start out at about 132 power and just kind of work away from there. So as far as the power, I just kind of shoot until I get it right. Honestly, I just guess. <laughs> until I get the perfect light. So just kind of play around with your settings and um, you'll see if you need to do more power or less power. Look regular. One, two, three. Okay, so my light is too hot on this one, so I'm gonna take that down. Take it up, I mean. I'm gonna do about 164 and see what we get. Same shot. One, two, three. All right, so we got some good light on that one. My light looks exactly how I want it to look. Now, 
As far as the ambient light, this is what I like about flash. You can adjust that and play with it to what type of shots you're trying to create. So if you want something more moody, you know, you can up your sh shutter or maybe you want the background completely blacked out. You can do those things. Or maybe you want more of the scene to be shown. You know, it's a lot of flexibility when it comes to using off camera flash and that's why I prefer it over natural light. So let's get some more shots, see what we get. Beautiful. And as you can see right here, I'm adjusting my light. And you'll see as you shoot, if you need to adjust your light, you know, I usually kind of feather mine to the side so I can get some nice fall off. And I kind of have shadows in the face, which I prefer that look, especially if you're going for more of a dramatic, moody type image. But just play with it, adjust your light to you get, you know, the fall off and the type of look that you're going for. All right, so we're moving to a different location. I'm gonna pit her on the sidewalk right here. See what we get. We got some nice sky. Uh, let's see if y'all can see that. I'm gonna try to incorporate that into the shot. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Oh yeah, that sky is nice. Actually. Yep, perfect. Yep. One, two, three. Wait. One, two, three. I like that. Beautiful. You good? You ready? All right, so that is natural light versus off-camera flash. I want to give a thank you, huge shout out to my wife for helping I'll be me out. On here more like, uh, don't worry. Guys. Yeah, it's hard to get on the channel. She'd be busy doing her own thing. But uh, if you appreciate the video, drop a like, share it to a friend, subscribe to the channel. I post new videos every single week, helping photographers better their business, get better at their craft, learn off-camera flash, all the good stuff. So we will see y'all in my next video. Peace.